Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the system language on your Mac operating system. So right now, as you can see, I am using English as my system language. So every uh, thing is in English, right? But let's say you move to the different region or you want to change this system language to some other language, for example, uh, French or German or any other language which are supported by Mac, how you can change it. So for this, what you need to do is you need to click on the system setting icon here, which is at the bottom. This is the system setting icon, which you can click to open system settings. Or you can also open the system settings by clicking on this Apple logo on the top left corner and then click on system settings here. So I'm going to click on system settings and then here you need to click on the general settings. So click on general here and then in the general settings, click on language and region. And here you will be able to see uh, your preferred languages and your region and your calendar settings and everything, right? Now let's say I want to add one more language here. So by default, I have these two preferred languages and English is the primary language. You can see primary language is English here. If you don't see uh, your language in the preferred language, you can add one more language from here. So let's say I click on the plus button here and then I can choose the French option here and then click on add and it's going to add the French option. So when you choose the language, MacBook also is going to ask you if you want to set this new language as the primary language. So if you want to use it, then click on use French. Otherwise, if you just want to add it into the preferred language list, click on use English, right? So as in my case, I want to use English as my primary language. So I will use English here. But in your case, you can choose the language you have selected and click on use that language option, which is in the blue, right? In my case, I'm going to click on use English, for example, right? Now, once you have these languages as the preferred language, and then let's say at the later stage, you want to uh, use a language as a preferred language. Let's say I want to use German language uh, as the primary language. Then from the list, you just need to move the primary language at the top. So when I drag this German at the top here, so let me move it to the top and then you can see this message. Your primary language has been changed. Do you want to restart your computer? Some application may not use the new language until the restart, right? So to fully change the system language of your Mac operating system, you need to restart your Mac operating system. But uh, you can do it at the later stages also. If you click on don't restart, then also your system language will change for some applications. For example, when I close this window and let's say I will open the system uh, settings again, you can see the language is already changed to German. When I click on this uh, option, you can see all these options are in German. You can see here also, right? So some applications are already using German language as the system language without restart, but other application might need the restart, right? So to fully integrate the new language, you need to restart your Mac operating system. If you want to once again change your language or preferred language, once again go to the uh, general section and then click on uh, language and region option. Here is the uh, icon for that. So if you uh, don't know the language and uh, you are confused, the icon looks like this, this blue uh, icon. And inside that blue icon, there is a globe, right? And then click on that and then move your preferred language at the top and your preferred language is going to be changed. So I'm going to just uh, click on, uh, I don't want to restart, but 
this is basically going to change the primary language on my Mac operating system. So that's how you can change the system language on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.